Good evening everybody. The first hens I'm going to show you are the ones from the first hatching round. They are all pure black mottled and Kona bantams from some of my best animals. And it shows off in the offspring because they are also very beautiful. First hen over here. She has a really nice color. The leg color could be a little bit more yellowish. It's a little bit pale. And this comes from my line. The combs are starting to develop. I believe they are now about five months old. So far she has a nice head overall. But of course at this stage is a little bit too early to say something about that. You might already notice when she, if she has vorktand or not. But so far I haven't encountered one with a vorktand. Next hen, she's also pretty. Good color, but the models are a little bit shady. Or the black goes into the model a little bit. This is something I definitely need to look for. That this doesn't become too much. The leg color is quite pale. Not really. It's not really good. She has a nice head and a nice comb. And I believe it will still improve when she gets older. Next hen is very similar. I do notice that she has some black markings on her legs. But it's also not that obvious. The color is a little bit lesser, I would say, than the previous one. It's not bad, but it's not the greatest hen I have, I own. The comb looks, the comb looks very good, very promising. But yeah, they're still too young to, to see the end result. Apart from that, I do like the tails so far. It's in a nice angle, not too upright. They also have a nice depth in their belly. This is important for the type, but also if you want a hen that produces a lot of eggs. Next hen, she has a little bit more yellowish legs. I also like her head. The color seems to be just as good as the others. Hmm. It's hard to see the comb, but I don't see any big flaws, so that's a good thing. The next hen, she's a lot smaller than the others, although she has the same age. Her legs are also considerably more yellowish. Very bright yellow. And this is how you want it to be. The other hands are also a little bit too big in my opinion. They are turning out bigger than their mothers. But yeah, they got that from the father. What I don't like about this hand is her color. It's not the greatest. Maybe it will improve a little bit when she gets older. But her comb seems to be okay. And of course her leg color and her size is very good. Next hen, we have a rather smaller one. But her legs are also quite short. That's something I don't really like in an Ancona Bantam. I prefer them with a little bit longer legs than this hen. 
Her color though is very good. I really like this color. What I don't like is the big white feather in her wings. But that might go away when she molts. The head looks okay overall. Comb, the wattles. But of course they are very small still. The leg color is a little bit pale. Apart from that, a nice hen overall. The next hen has a good leg color as you can see. No black markings. Too bad. Can't have it all I guess. The models or the modeling is okay. Might improve a little bit when she gets older. As you can see she's still in a molt. The comb however doesn't seem to be the greatest. Next hen is also a rather small one. She appears to have a very good comb. At least so far. It will change of course. The color is good too. The mottling. The leg color is a little bit pale. Too bad for that. She's also... She does have a nice length in her legs. So that's good. Next hen. I don't really like this one's color. Her models are very small. She does have a really nice head. And the leg color isn't also too bad. Next hen is also rather a small one. Too bad that her legs are also a little bit short. Because her leg color seems to be very good. Nice bright yellow with some markings. The color of her feathers is good. Her comb seems to be good too. So a promising hen. Maybe in combination with a rooster with some longer legs. It might give us some good offspring. The next hand has smaller mottles than the others and this also makes the contrast lesser with the white and the black. Her head is okay. I also like her type, the length of her legs. What I don't like is the color of her legs. They're quite pale. She does have a nice long tail. The next hen is definitely one of my favorites. She already has quite a big comb. I hope I can show it to you. And this also gives her the typical Ancona appearance. She's nice and slim too. The length of her legs is uh, very good. But the color isn't the greatest. The tail carriage is very good, very good angle between the back and the tail and the color is also very good. Very nice hen, especially because she's only five or six months old now. The next hen has good mottling, nice, nice color overall. Comb is still a little bit small, so I can't really say a lot about that so far. The leg color is a little bit more yellowish than the previous hen. It's definitely not perfect yet. Her wing carriage is a little bit off right now. That might be because they are a little bit stressed out in the cages. This is her first time in a show cage. This hen also has very small mottles. She does have nice bright yellow legs. 
She also already has quite a big comb and it's not a bad one either. Her tail carriage is also quite good. But her length of her legs is a little bit short. And that's not something I'm aiming for. I really like this hand. She's very small. Her comb isn't too bad either. Her color is also very good. And the color of her legs is probably one of my best from the first hatching round. A very nice dark yellow with some black markings. Not a lot, but some. Very nice hen overall. Last two hands from the first hatching round. Both are very small. Also, they also have a slender body type. This hen is very small. Of course, her comb is also quite small, so it's a little bit hard to give any commentary about her head. But it seems to be okay in total. She does appear to have a lot of white in her neck. It's something I don't really like in Ancona Bantams. So the overall color isn't that great. Her leg color is also a little bit pale. And the tail carriage also seems a little bit higher than the others. So this might not be the award winning hen I'm looking for. But we'll give her s some time to grow out a little bit more. Next hen. She has a nice color. It's not my best hen in, in terms of color. She also already has quite a big comb. But the leg color is also a little bit pale. However, I do like her type and the length of her tail. So this might become a nice hen. Her comb heel seems to be a little bit strange, but maybe she just got pecked by another hen or a rooster. It will be very difficult to show on camera this way. So if it's not genetic, then it's not a problem. But a nice hen overall. So I do have to say that the first breeding round or first hatching round gave you some very good hens. The roosters is a little bit lesser, but I do have some good ones. The first hen that I'm going to show you is one that I really like. She's wheat mottled, but she's already quite red in color. And her mottling is great too. 
just as his brother. She also came from the Australian Ancona band. Though. Not a lot of black in her too. Some in her tail, and a little bit in her neck. And a very good comb too. Leg color is a little bit pale. But that's not my biggest worry. Very good hen overall. The next hen is very similar to the previous one. But she's less redder. More of a brown color. But also not a lot of black. Just look at those models. No black at all. Only in her tail. And a little bit in her neck. So very useful hen for next year. Even in her chest, she has good mottling. And the leg color is okay too. And her comb seems to be very good. So a very nice hen. Definitely looking forward to see how she will grow out to be. But I don't think the color will change that much. So now I am already very pleased with this. The color of this hen is also very good. The chest is a lot darker than the previous hen. The mottling is also very good. As you can see, she has mottles all over her body. I really like this hen. Very good. Very useful for the breeding project. Can definitely hatch some red mottled chicks from this hen in combination with the right rooster. Her beak is a little bit long. She has no crooked toes. Her comb might not be the greatest of them all, but it's okay. Next we have my second blue mottled rose comb and Kona Bantam. Also very good leg color. The mottling seems to be very good too. Of course she's still very young so it might change a little bit. The shade of her blue is okay. But it does appear that she has two shades. A darker one on her back. And a lighter one in her wings. Nice long tail. So overall this looks like a very good hen. I like her head too. Don't know about the rose comb, but I don't think this is a good one. But it's also still a work in progress. Maybe a new project for next year. Next up we have a single comb, black mottled Ancona Bantam, but not with a lot of mottles. She came from the rose comb roosters, so her leg color is quite good. Some leg markings, but not that much. But I think I'm not going to keep this one. Her comb isn't the greatest too. She's still very young, but I don't think it will improve a lot more. When she gets older, but we'll see. We might just give her some more extra time to develop. And last but not least, we have another black mottled and corner hand from the from the rose comb rooster. She has more mottles, so more potential. Her comb looks better too. And look at the leg color. I'd say this is perfect, so I'm definitely going to keep this one. <laughs> 